Hello YouTube and today I'm going to be continuing with the how to make an operating system tutorials. Really this is like the third time I've attempted this because I've tried like different screen recorders. Expression encoder takes too long to encode. Cam Studio sucks, Hypercam stuck sucks, so Camtasia it is. Don't know why I didn't go for it at first. But anyway, here I have the YouTube OS project file which we're working on in the last tutorial. And as you can see, I got rid of all of the um, statements in the run method. And we're going to write our first text user interface. Well, not text user interface, command line interface thing. So the user can enter his or her commands and it will process them and do something with them so we're gonna keep that hello and welcome to youtube os just in there just for that anyway but first we can start off with console.write and here we'll have say some little icon to show that look this is a prompt and is going to wait for the user's input and what we can do here is make a new string called input and have it equal to wherever the reader no the user puts in so we'll get the user's input from the keyboard and put it into the string called input and as we can do here let's make a new method call it um public void um so command don't forget the parentheses curly, bra curly brackets and in these brackets put string input so then after this bit we can do command input so this I think will send the string input to this method so then this method can use it as arguments so we can do if input is equal to say help curly bracket we can have it so console dot right line file yeah i'll just get that code because because i've done this so many times i've I managed to save the um what call it the kernel.cs file. It saves me having to type this out like loads every day. <laughs> oh, no wait, but I'll just do. Forget that. There we go. And else if input is no input dot starts with um let's do okay then I'll we'll do console dot right line input dot remove zero comma five so yeah, what that will do. These are gonna be the commands we're gonna set up for now, and we'll do some more commands in the next tutorial. But anyway, so it will see if the uh, user's input, which is it stored in the string input, if input is equal to help, then it will print out these commands. If not, else if input dot starts with echo then it will print out input but removing the first five characters so we'll get rid of echo which is four characters then the space we don't need the space there though we'll get rid of the space also and then print out wherever's after and then let's do actually no that is the code you want to use there but to 
make sure it doesn't break or anything. What you want to do is let me just get it. Just copy and pasting it from this notepad plus 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 one. And there we go. There. So it will try and remove the first five characters there. But if after echo there's nothing there, so if we just put echo and no space, then it will print out echo and then the error message that was there. So that can be like any message, say you didn't echo didn't have any arguments or like something major fucked up basically but then we can put after this we can put else if input is equal to reboot not reboot eh? then sys dot power dot reboot brackets semicolon and the good thing with this is once it has done any of these statements then it will go back to whatever's after here and run but it's like an invisible loop so it'll go back to the beginning of run so once it does that it will print out a new line have that prompt icon get the user's input again and send that input string to this method like so and let's try else if input is equal to clear from clear or cls whatever then console dot clear so that will clear the screen that's kind of funny i think that's all the commands yeah there we have it that's how to do your first basic user interface so let's control s to save and f5 to build and debug and it'll launch up in vmware right so any minute now should be working oh you've got to be shitting me this audio has been off all this time <laughs> I'll just narrate it if it doesn't work. Just implement that thing. So power off. And at the end of the command method, put oh, there. 
else controls that aren't on. Input buff. Um, command that's not recognized. Please see help for the list of commands used in this mod. So go ahead and let me see this. Um If it says that it stopped working again, then, you know, just have to remove that console.write and replace it with something else, don't know. I don't know what we can do really, but yeah, anyway. Here we go, now it's time to build, well it's built I should say, and the umbrella is just going to go check on all the screens, there we go, so benefits of having dual monitors, don't really be saying that now, it's really not the, it's not porn on my wrist here, but <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, here we go, and say hello command not recognized uh oh it's backslash then isn't it not full slash then um but we get the picture to come um just power off take that very briefly and backslash n those are like reserved um uh what do you call it not sequences like carriages and stuff for the compiler to use so backslash n means new line and but that's because the um the screen is used by 80 columns and 25 rows but it's more 40 columns and 25 rows because each column is two bytes so it's like uh, difficult to explain but 40 bytes is for the characters and the other 40 bytes is for um, any attributes such as color so let's put that that way <laughs> um, which one do I put first? screen so wait for that to load I'll get this in so I'll do that there we are and hello see it working and it's fine so how does it work um okay hello work so that works clear um, reboot. A good thing to do is at the beginning of the no, at the end of the before run method, is put console.clear. So all of this, um, finding PCI devices, blah 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 stuff, that won't be displayed on boot up. It will be displayed at one point, but straight after it has been displayed, it the console would have been cleared. So you won't see it, don't it? There you have it. That's your first command line interface done for your Cosmos operating system. 
and I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time on the series of tutorials on how to make an operating system in C-sharp. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.